Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to day two of going from fed up to fired up. Let me know who's with me. Uh, for those of you who are new or who don't know me, my name is Natalia Edelman. I am a life and business strategist, a certified wellness coach, and the founder of the Make It Happen Success System and Client Generator Boot Camp, which is coming on Friday. But this series right here, this is a free live series dedicated to female entrepreneurs, to entre entrepreneurial women who are just feeling fed up right now. It's November, 2020. It's almost December next week. Holy moly. Um, and you guys are feeling fed up and you guys, you just want to get motivated. You want to find a way to fall back in love with what you're doing, to fall back in love with your strategy, to make things simple again. And this is what this whole week is dedicated to. Um, hey Renee, how's it going? So yeah, guys, if you're here, give me a hash, um, uh, say hello and give me a hashtag replay if you're watching on replay. And, I purposely didn't make this another free challenge. I didn't make this another free masterclass. I really just wanted to have an honest conversation. And if you come and show up here with me, then I will, you know, have that dialogue with you, whether you're live here, which is awesome if you are, but even if you're on the replay, you know, I really want to just make this an honest conversation because the world needs you. The world needs your light. It is not the time right now to feel this way. It's about feeling fired up. Like, let's let's do this, okay? So um, this is straight talk because I'm seeing it with my clients. I'm seeing it in the circles that I'm in. I'm seeing it in my networks and in all the organizations that I'm a part of people have this vibe right now and we're here this week to flip it upside down okay so if you have any questions if you're feeling fed up let me know in the comments what is making you feel that way if you're fearing feeling fired up let me know what is making you feel that way share in the comments let's make this as interactive as possible um i'm in the south of spain everybody i you, i actually have a poinsettia to make it all holiday, but you can see some palm trees. So I'd love to know where you are. Hey, Jolie, so excited to have you here. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments where you guys are. And like I said at the beginning, I purposely made this a live series, not a masterclass, not a challenge. I am giving you things to do so that you can flip this around and get fired up. That's the whole point of it. But um ask questions comment engage uh we're all friends here and so all i ask is that you be kind you be respectful because we all need more kindness in the world right now so <clears throat> how i structure these talks if you haven't been here yet i start with what you're feeling what is what you're feeling right and then i want to go to what is really going on and then we kind of end the conversation with, okay, how do you turn this around? We've got Germany in the house. We've got New York in the house. This is amazing. Um, I'm so excited. So yesterday we talked about being sick of the bullshit. Excuse my French, but that's where we went the first day because I had to call it out. I had to call it out. We talked about how you're sick of, you know, seeing people, people not saying what they're going to say or what they're gonna do. Sick of seeing so many different strategies. You know, one person says do it this way, one person says do it that way, post this content, post that content, be on this platform, don't be on that platform, be on all the platforms. You know, there's so much conflicting things and it's just like, whoa, it's leading to overwhelm. It's leading to you maybe not sticking with a certain strategy and then it all of a sudden goes, you know, you, you, you got to give yourself enough time to stick with one strategy. You got to keep it simple. That's, that's so, you know, 
that's my philosophy. <laughs> I like to bring simplicity into everything. Um, you know, you're sick of seeing people on Instagram and Facebook and people just living the life and being making it look so easy. And you're like, when's it going to be my turn? Why am I, you know, still working so hard and, and not seeing the results that I want to see? So we talked about that yesterday. Um, and you know, I get you, I know where you're at. I, I get that it feels like you're just sick of it all. Like you're sick of social media. You're sick of, you know, doing all the things. And actually that's what we're talking about today is doing all the things. So who's with me here? Like, let me know if this is resonating with you guys. I'm loving to seeing all the hearts and everything. This is, this is so good because it just solidifies what I've been hearing and um, it really means that what I'm doing this week with you guys is all, is, is what, is what people need right now. So it's awesome. Um, that in a nutshell is what we talked about yesterday. And I asked you at the end to do, to make a list, to make a list of all the things that you're doing. And I wanted you to put your why beside each one. Like, why are you doing what you're doing? Like Oprah says, you know, why, why are you anywhere? You got to know why you're anywhere, <laughs> why you're doing anything. Um, so let's talk about being fed up of doing all the things. Now, I get it. When you first start, uh, far, first start your business, you're in the first one to five years, you are doing all the things, especially at the beginning. You know, your CEO, your CFO, your CMO, your, you know, C chief financial officer, your chief marketing officer, your CIO, chief innovation officer, your COO, your, your, your operations, your sales, you're all of the, you're wearing all of these hats. And that is not a bad thing, by the way. I am a firm believer. You got to learn how to do each and every one of these parts so that you can come up with your own standard operating procedures, but also so that you know who you want to fill those positions when the time is right. Um, I remember I couldn't get, an, I couldn't wait to be my own boss. And I remember even when I was in corporate, I was, you know, got going for that C-suite spot. Um, the C-suite spot, I like that. I'm gonna have to use that somehow. But uh, I want to be like chief, innovation officer that's what I wanted to do so because I love like you know I love reiterating things seeing how to make things better um but you know here is where we are right now we are entrepreneurs we're running our businesses we are making a huge impact in this world with our unique brilliance with our gifts okay so um this is what I'm hearing though, okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm still hearing that you're the strategist, you're the marketer, you're the sales, you're your VA, like your assistant. Um, the assistant piece is where we need to focus. Um, you're the operations. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with being, wearing all of these hats, but there comes a point where you need to work on your business and not in your business. You need to work smart and you not and not hard. Um, you know, I get that you write your own content. I write my own content. I wouldn't give that away because that's I have joy. I enjoy doing that. Um, you do your own blogs. Maybe you do your own blogs, um, and that's okay. You can still do these things. But managing your website, managing your sales pages, you know, generating leads, talking to leads, get, calling prospects, you know, you're doing all of the things. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with this, especially if you enjoy it. Keep the things that you enjoy close. You don't want to outsource those things. But tell me in the comments, you know, all the things that you do in your business because I am curious to see all the things and you don't, you know, you can tell me maybe like the top three uh, things that you do, but I would love to hear, you know, all the things that you're doing. Um, and I ask you because I want to sort of talk about what's really going on. And maybe this is hard to hear at first, but what's really going on right now is that you're scared. 
you're scared of failing, you're scared of rejection, you're scared of embarrassing yourself, saying the wrong thing, um, you're scared of success maybe, you know, like that is one thing that people don't necessarily think about because when you succeed, quite often you might leave people behind or, you know, your world changes, maybe you lose a partner, who knows, like it's, whatever's happening, it's like there's something that you're scared of. And it could be any of those things. It could be all of those things. It could be one of those things. And it might not even be one that I listed, but it, there's some kind of fear, some kind of block that's holding you back from stepping into the person you need to be and doing the things that you need to do, making the impact that you need to make in this world right now. So you play small, right? You, you play small, you do everything yourself, you almost like bury yourself in your own work. You ignore all the things that you said at the beginning, like, oh, I wanna work like 20 hours a week, and oh, I, I, I wanna have a team, and you're, you know, sometimes you're just scared to, to even spend money, because you're in this like, and I get it right now, it's, it's COVID, things have changed. Maybe you've lost your job. Maybe your partner's lost their job. Um, there's so much uncertainty, right? But that's, that's why it's so important for us to focus on the things that we're certain about. The, the, I was thinking about this today and I hope I say it right, but like when you bet on yourself, like that is, the biggest return you will ever get when you bet on yourself, when you invest in yourself. And that could be for any, that could be any which way. So, you know, if you, if you don't, we, the thing is like, sometimes you don't spend money, but then when you do spend the money, it's like something happens, like it's not the right investment or, you know, it's just, it just didn't work like you thought it would. And I would say like whenever you're going to spend money, you gotta wear your CFO hat, right? You gotta wear your, your chief, you gotta weigh the risks, the rewards, you gotta know what gaps you're filling. Um, so what do you do? Like, what do you do? And, and let me know guys, like I'll just take a moment to pause, but Julie says, yes, fear has definitely been coming up for me. Yes, like, and fear will come up I always like to say new levels, new devils. So whenever you reach like a new level of success in your life, in your business, you're faced with a whole new set of fears, a whole new set of devils that come up. It could be like imposter syndrome. Oh, you can't do that. You can't charge that. You don't have those skills. You know, all this, this little inner critic guy, girl comes up and, and you gotta make friends with that person. You have to make, you have to learn to make friends with that inner critic of yours or else, I mean, they have their hearts in the right place. They're just wanting, trying to protect you, right? They're just trying to protect you. And that's, you know, that's great. Cause you sometimes need someone to be like, are you sure about this? And then you got to take control. You got to take ownership of that voice and say, cause your inner critic is not in control. You are in control. They're just there to sort of say, well, have you thought about this? And you say, yes, yes, I have thought about that. This is why I'm doing it. Boom. There's that why again, right? You got to know why you're doing anything. Cause that will help you make decisions, make choices that are in your best interest. If you start to make choices, they're like, well, I could, and maybe it would work out. That's when, you know, that's when things go wrong. That's when things, you know, you make choices that are either not wholehearted or they've got the wrong intention, right? Um, so what do you do? And let me just pause for a second. I'm loving to seeing all these comments, guys. I'm so happy this is resonating. Um, Julie says, I'm in the very beginning stages of my building of building my coaching business. Congratulations, building content, attracting. Yes, perfect. So excited for you. The world needs more of you, Julie. Renee says, you're so right, not awesome. Thank you. All about the why. Yes, all about the why. So, so what do you do, right? Um, 
And I want you to go back to the list of all the things you do, right? And you got to go back to your, if you haven't done that, make a list of all the things that you do. Put the why beside it, because that's going to really help you just think about it. Like, am I doing this just because I'm doing it? Or am I doing this because it's moving me forward in my life or in my business? Why is it so important to do right now? Why is it relevant? And like, I'm kind of dipping into smart goal territory, but just for today, like build on that list. We're gonna build on everything that we've, we're doing this week. So build on that list. You've got your whole list of what you do, all the things, and that's in life and business, right? Don't leave anything out. Um, your why beside it. And then I want you to go through and I want to, I want you to ask yourself, can I eliminate this? Can I eliminate this task or this item off my list? And if you can't, okay, I want to ask, I want you to ask yourself, can I automate this somehow? Like, can I, can I automate this? Can I make this go like work without me even having to do anything if I just take the time to set it up? And then I want you to ask, can I delegate it? You know, can I delegate this? Can I, there are so many people looking for work right now. And there are so many people, honest people that would love to help you with what you need help with. But you have to know what that is. And you have to know that, you know, and, and I would really go through and ask yourself, can I eliminate this? Can I automate this? And can I delegate it? And with every single task, if you love doing it, don't give it away. Keep doing it because you want to fill your cup with joy. Um, so I really hope that this is resonating with you from the comments. It sounds like it is, which I'm like, I'm over the moon about because again, it just, it just reaffirms with what I'm hearing and, and what, um, I want to help you guys with as we finish 2020, as we go into 2021, as we go into December, we got to just, you know, do it and do it big and not let ourselves hold us back. Like don't let yourself hold you back. I know it's scary. I know it's hard, but we make it a lot harder than it needs to be. So, um, do the task, comment below what you got out of it. Um, feel free to connect with me personally and let's just go from there. So tomorrow I'll be back same time, 2 PM central European time. And we're, we're going to continue to build on these exercises to build on this topic of going from fed up to fired up so that in December, in 2021, you are rearing to go. Nothing's holding you back and it's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you who have, can't wait to see, if you wanna even post your picture, like do that. I can't wait for you guys to get into this and see the magic happen. Lots of love to you guys. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Bye.